And, you know, something that I find in other situations similar, like Flint and other, is the media just stops covering it. Yeah. Yep. I've talked to other residents. The media ignores them. Started reaching out again around the one-year anniversary, mm-hmm. but then mm-hmm. goes back away. So do you kind of feel like you're begging for... And when the media does come in, there's only certain residents that they'll talk yep. to. Same way with politicians. They have uh, a meeting place. They don't use the city building because, in my opinion is, because the city building is one of the worst stinking contaminated buildings in the whole town because the creeks that run under it. So they do it in the candle shop. <laughs> Downtown, that's where right. all of the meetings are. <laughs> and so on. Now, I mean, not only does the candle shop cover up the smell, but it's not sitting right on the creek. So they, the media or the government officials never get to talk to any of the any of the people concerned and again who owns the media the corporations absolutely <laughs> that, that i mean and i know people think that uh, that i'm some kind of nut and that i spout off this political shit it's not even a political opinion it's it's a di- it's a fact it's reality that it's all it's all about the money and the money is all f- mommy and daddy and the media is one of the kids, too. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, Jenna, I mean, what do you think in terms of, uh, I don't mean, to, I don't care if you're you know, uh, into politics, but it seems that we have plenty of money to send to other countries, but they can't relocate your family. The government isn't getting involved in paying for relocation. Other places, like Libby, Montana... Mm-hmm. They got universal health care when they had an asbestos disaster, which they should have gotten it, but right. there's no talk about free health care for residents here. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous that we're giving billions out to other countries and our country can't even help their own people. That's, that's, I mean, out of every, out of everything going on, I feel like East Palestine, we should at least get free health care and get things that we deserve that we need help with like water even like water simple things like that you know it's just it's crazy to me that's all i can say about that it's like you 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 just keep i don't know like how to describe it it's just like that's all you can really say because we have talked about it so much that that's all you really can say is you know (laughs) what else can you say you know my last question is, uh, what's your message to the rest of the country? Because uh, people, I think, sometimes when it's happening elsewhere, they feel bad, but maybe... Right. Well, I would say that, you know, be prepared because this isn't the last. I mean, I, I distinctly remember hearing about Flint, you know, maybe not 10 years ago, maybe eight years ago or something. And like like East Palestine, it was in the news all the time. But then you never heard anything else about. Thought it Flint. was all fixed. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, they they must have taken care of all that problem because there was no media covers on it. But you know now, after being introduced to Status Quo and Lewis, and you know the whole program that you guys are still showing, and you know it, it's just still terrible there. And I mean, just just because the news goes away, the problem doesn't. And you know, with with the way things are going, it's just a matter of time. Till this happens again and you know it's not if it's when and and next time it could be your community and you know and we it, live in the greatest we're not con- yeah. we're not conspiracy theorists i mean th- this shit is real and it, it's gonna happen to you i mean when this happened you know where it happened to other people they you know they they sent us stuff that we could do and it's well you know this is so clear cut that, you know, we don't need to do this. I mean, it's obvious who is at fault and, and they're gonna take care of this, but you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter who's at fault and they're not gonna take care of it. And we're just uh, left to deal with it, you know? I think a lot of if, people I guess they figure in 20 years we die and that's a, they won't have to hear us about us no more. You know, I think a lot of people thought Flint was, was fixed and, and everything was all right there. I did, I mean, this is the United States of America. We are the greatest country in the world. We sure as the hell would not let people die over something like this. You know, we would jump right in there and we would fix it. 
You know, it, I, I really had no idea, and that's another thing that I beat myself up about, is that all this stuff was going on around me, and I didn't even know it. I didn't mm -hmm. see it. I didn't feel it. I didn't, you know, it, it makes me feel guilty. It makes me feel hurt. It makes me feel stupid that, that all this stuff, you know, I didn't know about Times Beach. Wow. I thought everybody fixed their water, their water was all fixed and everybody was fine there. You know, I, I didn't know about Love Canal. I didn't know about any of this stuff. It's, it's, it's the whole thing kind of like mass shootings, you know, they, they happen all the time. Oh, that, you know, that, that, that's not going to happen here. <laughs> you know, that, that's something that happens somewhere else. But unfortunately, it does happen and everybody knows it's going to happen. And, and the same thing with this chemical disaster, that's, that's you the know whole how, thing. Do you know how many times I'll cover something? Example, I just covered the uh, situation going on in Piqua with uh -huh. the uh, burning of the... Uh, Batteries. Right, let them be out. Right. And I see response. I see comments under the video. I live in Piqua, and I didn't know about this. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. So many times I'll cover a story, and because the media and that local community is ignoring it, uh -huh. the people don't even know what's mm -hmm. going on. And I think we get so wrapped up in in you know our busy lives and doing our own thing, you know, that we don't realize there there's so much that we don't realize. You know, this area has been used as a dumping ground because it's a poor rural area. You know, when I was in high school, we used to go to a place we called it glowing ponds to smoke joints. Okay, <laughs> glowing pond was where the water was all green and illuminated at night. Well, nobody ever asked, What's in there? why is the water glowing? It, you know, it just didn't occur. Uh, there's a farm not far from here. Darren said when he was a kid, they used to go up there and play in the woods and so on. And he said there was all kinds of uh, it was a, rusted... It was a BFI site. Yeah, rusted, uh, broken barrels that had toxic on the outside of them. And they were it, cracked open, you know? It from here to Negri, it, it ran <laughs> orange. I mean, bright orange for Well, we had the... Four wasn't or five that Myrex years. poisoning that we had? That was from Salem. Yeah, that that ran Myrex. through here? And I mean, when you stop and think about it... That's what they tried to say a lot of uh, about a lot of the chemicals here. They were legacy chemicals. They proved that wrong. But this whole area has been used as a dumping ground for generations, you know, and we, we just, we didn't see it, you know. Do you, do you feel in a way that you just, you've been made into a sacrifice zone? We absolutely like lab, have. Lab rats. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is what I say, you know, Jenna and, and the kids, I'm getting them to sign up for the study that the Dr. Glom is doing. She's the one that uh, found out about the burn pits in Iran and Iraq, helped the yeah. Iraq. Yeah. And helped the uh, veterans. And I'm getting the kids all signed up for that. And I'm thinking, while, while I'm, you know, thinking about it, I'm thinking, my God, you know, so I'm setting them up. So that when they get sick down the road, there'll be a study on it. You know, it's it's just it, it's. Well, I mean that's that's about it. the only hope we have around here now is you know maybe the the information that they that the science can gain through us is maybe help somebody else if this happens again. I mean, it's terrible to think that that's the only thing you, <laughs> that you could look forward right. to. But I mean, that's you know it's. Thank you guys for taking the time. I'm sorry. Well, for thank you for, for, you know, staying hey, thank on you it, you know. thank you for keeping on this. I mean, yeah. like I said, I, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even know anything about Flint, Michigan. And I'm damn sure that if it wasn't for you guys, there'd be yeah. a whole lot of people that I'm didn't know what is going tomorrow, on in East Palestine. So, you know, it's, 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 you know, if nothing else, it's, I, I can at least sympathize with the people in from West Flint Virginia. And, I've been you know, watching I mean, the, the stuff that's going on in West Virginia. You know, that's one of the most beautiful parts of the whole country. I call it the poison states of America. <laughs> I mean, it's it's, just, it's, well, it's w, WTIs, the waste incinerators, twelve miles that way. The shell cracker plants, twelve miles that way. You know, the nuclear plant down on the river. I mean, it's just you know. They're, the heart of it all, just like the dump of it all now, I guess. I mean, you know, being yeah. Ohio. It's just... And meanwhile, you got federal agencies that are essentially there to... Right, blow smoke up people's ass. That's what they're there for. 
If you ever wondered, or you ever asked Jordan, why do you keep going to Flint, or why do you, why do you uh, status quo keep going to East Palestine, and why don't you cover other things more, and yada yada yada? I hope you have your answer. Um, trust me, as a, as a as a uh, journalist and as a human, it would be a lot easier and a lot more profitable, frankly, to just sit on my, sit on my ass in a studio and talk about. Trump or Biden and, you know, uh, conflict and drama. I'd make a lot of money. Uh, I, I probably wouldn't have had two back surgeries from all the driving and flying and falling uh, that I've done uh, on the road. But um, frankly, there's just kind of a, I think the term genocide is being used a lot right now for what's going on in Gaza. And whatever you think about that, there's a slow moving genocide going on in the United States. And that's what we're covering. It's happening in East Palestine. It's happening in Flint. It's happening in East Chicago, Indiana. It's happening in parts of North Carolina, West Virginia. I mean, I could go down the list of stuff I've covered, whether it's water, whether it's air, whether it's soil, whether it's railroads, whether it's fracking, whether it's mining, uh, whether it's plastics. And it's all being covered up. Let me repeat. It's all being covered up by the very entity that we're supposed to trust the government and the media they're working together to sweep all of this shit under the rug and the victims are who we're showing you that's all i have to say